Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to learn props in React. Props stand for properties. Props are arguments passed into React components. Props are passed to component via HTML attribute. Let me draw you a picture so you can understand prop better. Let me go to Figma and create new design. Uh, let me go to desktop. For example, if you have component over here, for example, it is a palin component. It is app.js. So this is component, right? So if you create hello component, for example, this is child's component of app component because you attach hello component in app component. So hello component become a child's component of app component hello world dot js so if you have valuable over here for example uh, con num uh, 18 so how do you pass this valuable to hello world component you have to use prop Prop will help you to pass any valuable in parent component to child's component. All right, I hope you better understand about prop. All right, let's start coding. Over here is hello world component. I go to app.js. For example, if I declare new variable num18, and I want to pass 18 to hello world component, what can I do? I have to declare attribute num equal curly braces and I put this num inside this one. And then I save. And when I go to hello world component, I can put props over here and I can use num over here. For example, I create no div and then I put curly brace and I call prop and then I specify num attribute, which is this attribute. So if this change to number uh, prop, when I call this prop, I have to call it prop dot number prop save. And if I go back to browser, I will see 18 over here. I can put text over here like this number is form prop save and if i go back i will see this number is form prop 18. this is how you pass valuable form parent component to a child's component via props you can also destructure props if you want to use only number props over here so you can remove this prop but over here you have to put curly braces and then uh, call this num props over here so it's work the same how about you want to pass other variable to this component for example if i declare variable name equal alex so you can pass name over here by create a new attribute name and then put curly brace and put this variable over here because you want to pass variable name inside hello world component so for example in greeting over here i want to put hello world exclamation alex so i put name over here but i have to call name over here because I pass name here to this component. I can access prop and put name over here. So it will call name for me. It will call name that's passing down from the parent component for me. When you take a look over here, you will see hello world, Alex. All right, this is all about this video. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, click like and subscribe.